Hey, Stinger fans and owners and whatever you want to call yourselves. So uh, here we're at ATQ with our sponsor, Stinger, and um, excited to show you guys why we're providing uh, four new bolts for your uh, front cross member. So this is the bolt that I was referring to. There's four of these in the front cross member, and they have a 14 millimeter uh, thread, which if you take the collar, you see that it goes on and play is gone, right? Then if you slide it down all the way, see the gap there? Because it's a 13 mil shoulder. So what we want to do is we're going to use, for example, one of the bolts that we made and you put it on, get it down, play is gone. This is the way you want to install your subframe collars to get the max performance out of the, uh, the car and the part. So um, just found out that we can get an OEM bolt that's the same length as your, uh, your front bolts here. So we're gonna do that instead of making them because it's a lot easier and quicker and we'll have faster turn around this way. And uh, now I'm gonna walk you over to the car and I'm going to show you the gap that we're filling in and why we're doing this. So on all cars made after whatever year, it's actually kind of hard to see here, but this is the hole that this bolt came out of. Yeah, actually have a, like, there we go. So I'm putting the bolt in, well, dicking with it. Sorry guys, one hand, so it's a pain in the dick. There, so the bolt's in place. You see that gap there? See how this moves? So over time, this allows your subframe to shift and when you're, uh, say you hit a big bump or pothole or something like that, this can dislodge the subframe and shift it. It was just why a lot of the newer cars need frequent alignments, which is really annoying. So the purpose of the collars is we put the collar in the hole. Sorry, this one's a little stiff because you already have it installed. And the, the difference in, uh, from the bolt to the hole is now filled. Then the bolt goes back in. Again, don't mind me. Sorry, it's hard to do with one hand. So see, I still have a little bit of play here with uh, this bolt here. Again, this is why we're gonna get the right size with the 14 mil shoulder. And then this will thread in and you know, the gap will be gone and you'll have those handling improvements and uh, better cornering and no, well, lack of rattles and shit as the car gets older. So that pretty much sums up what the subframe colors are and what they're for and why we're providing the bolts. And yeah, check out uh, ATQ's website. Um, we have them for sale right now. So uh, you guys can buy them. They'll be ready to go in about a week or so. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.